to the event. All right. Wow. Well, I'm afraid there's probably it is the 6th of January, around, uh, 2021, my first uh, video of 2021. And, uh, and um, you about, probably uh, already know this, but uh, pro-Trump uh, Army election, has uh, taken the over the U.S. Capitol building and the neighborhood around it. I mean, and they have literally broken into the U.S. Capitol. Right? And there, I mean, there's videos and, and pictures from inside the Capitol building. There's freaking Congress people are still there, even like hiding in offices and stuff, locked down, because these protesters have taken over, broken in through the windows. And the whole outside of the building is just crawling with like a literal army of Trump supporters. And of course, the idea is to take over the government and overturn the results of the election and put Trump back in power. Keep Trump in power. That's what it is. It's unbelievable, right? Of course, they say that the election was rigged and was stolen, you know what I mean, but uh, that's basically what it is. I mean, even, well, you know, I mean, all of the claims that the election was rigged or stolen have been thrown out over and over and over by various states and various courts because there's no evidence of it. But they, of course, refuse to uh, believe that. And so they were calling for Trump to come out, make a statement to get these people to disperse. And so he did. He posted a video on Twitter that essentially said, look, we know that the results of the election were, were fraud and that it was stolen from us, but we really need to maintain peace so that no one gets hurt. We know the truth, but you need to go home and you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, that's really convincing, you know, that he, that he is really trying to get this resolved. So, of course, Trump's not not helping. But, I mean, I can't even convey on this video just how big this is. I mean, it would have to be big to be able to take over the U.S. Capitol. You know what I mean? Like... I heard people on the on the news talk about how could a security breach like this happen? And I was like, I'll tell you how it could happen. It's just like the whole Storm 51, Area 51 thing was, where it, it didn't pan out, but it could have. The amount of people who showed up could have occupied Area 51. And that's what you can do with thousands of people with a common cause. And I mean, it is, it's thousands. They're mobilizing police from all the neighboring counties and cities. New Jersey is sending state police there. And they're, you know, of course, activating the National Guard. And the people are saying, you know, like, why was this not in place already? You know, because to, to be honest, this has actually been brewing for like a week now. Trump has been telling his people to show up in Washington, D.C. to protest the confirmation vote. So, right, we knew this was going to happen. But uh, apparently they were a little bit taken off guard. <coughs> Which, like I said, it's like we know Trump supporters. I mean, even if you're a Trump supporter, you got to admit when Trump says something, you do it. That's what they do, right? And so, no matter what side you're on, you know that if Trump says, hey, be down here to protest uh, fraudulent uh, election results, they're going to show up in mass, and they did. There are so many Trump 2020 flags and American flags, don't tread on me flags, waving. They erected a cross up there and everything. It is just unbelievable. It is an insurrection. That's exactly what it is. It's an insurrection. They're trying to stage a coup to take over the government to overturn the election results and keep Trump in power. That is exactly what's going on. And so I keep thinking like if that was thousands of Black Lives Matter protesters down there breaking into the Capitol, I think that you wouldn't be able to see any video because the whole place would be full of rubber bullets flying and tear gas and smoke. But that's a different ball of wax entirely. 
Uh, it's just so crazy. I almost can't believe it. And I say almost because I've been saying all along that this was going to come to a civil war. I said if Trump wins the election, it'll turn into a civil war. If Trump loses the election, it'll turn into a civil war. Because if Trump wins, all of the anti-Trump people will not accept that. Not after all the Black Lives Matter protests and so on. And if Trump loses, his people are not going to accept it. That's what I said, and that's what's going on. Trump lost, and his people are not accepting it. And they are taking over the U.S. Capitol. When we left for work, I'm driving to work right now. When we left for work, it was still just swarmed with protesters, and police was just starting to show up in riot gear. I don't know. They're talking about there's. It's really de delicate situation to have to get these people to disperse without violence. And it's like, sorry, man. I remember Portland. I remember all over the country with the Black Lives Matter uh, protests, and they weren't concerned with it not getting violent, right? And so, I don't know if this is gonna turn into a clusterfuck down there in Washington, D.C., but it almost has to. One way or the other, man, it's gonna just be a clusterfuck. And so, rather than just talk around in circles, I'm gonna go ahead and go, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. It's crazy. Crazy.